Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Abdul Alim and I'm here in Kirkuk Castle to show you something special about the places and about the mosque, the church and the schools here. So please stay with me. I will tell you a location of this place and some information about the history of this castle. So this castle is located on the center of the city of Kirkuk and is considered the oldest part of the city. The castle stands on a 130 foot high artificial hill located on a plateau across the castle river. And about the information about the history of, uh, the history of this place, King Islox when Nikator built a strong rampart with 72 towers around 72 streets and two entrances to the castle. The jewel of the castle is the so-called Red Church, with traces of mosaics that date back to the period before the Islamic conquest of Iraq in the 7th, 7th century. Taymur believed to have visited this fortress in 1393 during, during his military campaign. Modern wall dating back to the Uthman era. In 1990, Saddam Hussein announced the campaign to beautify the wall of the castle. The large number of historical and religious sites remain, data, including a monument believed to be Daniel's tomb. And here, actually, there's three tombs of three prophets, uh, Daniel's and uh, Sheath and Hosea, I think. And also there is a church, they call it Red Church. Even there is a schools. The, there is, I think, modern schools here. But in the past, you know, the, they were used, um, used the mosque as, as schools to teach a students here. This one, they called the market of this castle. Look at this. It's so big and there's so many rooms. Actually, not rooms, shops. Look at this. How they make it this? So beautiful, the decoration. The style of decoration actually is so beautiful. And now I will tell you some information about the Great Mosque. Then we will go to see it. So that mosque consists of four galleries resting on pillars connected to each other by riches arched in the form of semicircular arch. Most of the remains of that mosque are gone, as I told you. And only some remain, some vowels with pointed arched and the, the remains of the, ca of the minaret remain. The old name of the mosque uh, was named the Mother Maria and stay with me to uh, see this uh, mosque yeah so this is the mosque here established the first school in this mosque to teach a true religions and the religion science so let's see the this mosque yeah. stay with me it's so big, but all of uh, the parts, most of the remains of this mosque are gone. Has, this mosque has uh, one dams and so many vowels and uh, arched. So look at this. This is the mosque. Yeah. Save me to went well, to the tomb to talk about it and give you some information about it. Also, we'll get inside <coughs> that mosque and that tomb to see together the tombs, the graves or of uh, three prophets. So stay with me. Finally, we arrived to the mosque of Dan the prophet Daniel. This mosque was built on a tomb that some believe to contains the body of the prophet Daniel. The mosque, uh, the mosque building was a Jewish tomb temple. After that, uh, it uh, turned into a Christian 
uh, Christian church and in Islamicura they turned into a mosque. This uh, mosque contains a three tomb for three prophets, Daniel and Sheath and Hosea, and has three dams. And the size of this mosque uh, are 400 meters, and uh, two dooms has two dooms that. And this uh, beautiful minaret. Look at this. It's so beautiful. The decoration of this minaret is so beautiful. I like it. And now the mosque uh, closed, so we can't get inside this mosque to see together the tomb. So there's no excuses. We will.